Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. What I have here is a Christmas trim pack. I'm gonna go through all the pieces individually. They are $15 and these are just to add to your trims of anything that you might be making for the upcoming holiday. So let's get started. What I'm gonna start off with is I have this cone it has green yarn on it. And what I'm doing with mine is I'm taking all types of beads, whether they're all white or red or green, and I'm using pins and I'm gonna make a tree design on here. So I thought if you have any beads, you could take tinsel, you can take ribbons, and you can design your own little tree or use it for whatever you want. So in the pack, you're gonna get a green cone full of yarn. Then you will get this really fun little wooden box to decorate collage with. In here, now these are gonna be random, will be, these are, if I'm not mistaken, they're little ribbons, scrapbooking ribbons. I don't know if there's glue on it, but it's easy to put the glue on. So you will be getting that. Then you will get a spool and two little spools that you can put, you'll get this piece of trim, you could put this trim on it, or you could put any trim that you already have in your collection. What I'm also gonna send is this fun, this is an ornament, it opens up like this, you know, you fill this with fun little things. Um, it'll either be this shape or it'll be like the round ball shape. So that will come in the kit. Where is, then you will get two of these tart tins. I didn't do anything grungy because I felt if you want a grunge for Christmas or a holiday, that's up to you. I wanted to leave it bright and shiny. But what you can do with this is you can put this on the outside. You can put it on the inside so it looks like no, I don't want to wreck this one up. And then you can decorate with little Timmy people or something like that. So you're getting two of these. Then you're going to get some trim. So here's some lace. Some may be a yard, some may be a half a yard. Some is just, you know, trim. But it's enough to either design on your tree if you want to make cool bows, if you're doing a mixed media project, if you're doing little journals, you've got plenty of stuff here to play with. Then you will also get two wooden clothespins. You can make Santa and Mrs. Claus, you can make reindeer, you can just use them to store your trims on. You will also be getting this piece of trim. Look at how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? So you'll be getting this. And I thought if you were doing a tree, wouldn't that look pretty as garland on a tree? So we have that. You will be getting some sort of a gold, this has wire in it, uh, ribbon. You'll get a piece of this, which I think is fun. Rick Rack, gotta have some Rick Rack. So we'll have Rick Rack. As I said, you'll be getting that. We're going to get to the rest of the goodies. Then you're going to get this. I just thought this would be fun. Listen, you can paint these. You can dip these alcohol inks, dye them. Um, you can even paint this. So we have that. Did I show you this one? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I don't have a lot of that. So that's what we get out of this. Then let's get into this. Everyone's going to get an envelope a CD, we're gonna to get to these goodies in a minute. In this little bag is the following. You're gonna get three white tags to decorate. Everyone's gonna get a little uh, wooden ornament, whether it's a Santa, it could be an angel, it could be a snowflake, random. Um, these are I don't know if it's mica or plastic, but I just thought that if you wanted to put this over, which I'll show you in a second, look at that. I'll show you what to do with this in a second. I'm giving you two Santa Claus cards. There's two Charlie Brown Christmas cards. 
This is what's on the side of this Charlie Brown. These are regular, so make ATCs out of these if you want. This we all know, this is the Velcro that you could put on your pages, and then you can have an opening and a closing, so I'm giving you that. I'm giving you, this is an old, here's what's cooking, recipe from the kitchen of. Kissing wears out, cooking don't. So this is a vintage index card. If you were making a gift for somebody, you could put like a, a holiday recipe on there. Uh, this was a funny, fussy cut that I got from Janina J9 Scraps, and I have so many that I'm sharing. Then I have in here, you will be getting some great negatives. You'll be getting a picture that you can cut out, and if you were gonna turn this, let's say, into an ornament or something, or just a little assemblage, you can cut that out like it's a Timmy person. You know, you could cut it out, do something like that, or if you have a favorite photo, use glossy accents. Okay, we know that trick. So we have that, that. Uh, this needs to go away before you know who loses it, meaning me. We also, I'm giving you some negatives to play with. Um, you know what you can do with these, right? You can take the negatives out and these you could turn into little books or you can actually put all these together and make a little book. I'm also giving everyone a little vintage key. And then this is just a piece, um, it's, it's stainless steel, it's from a watch. I don't know, I just thought it was something good to play with. So that is what is going to be in this little baggie of goodies for you to play with. And I'm spending time on this so you all know what's in your holiday trim kit. And I also don't want to lose anything. And it also gives you time to look at everything again. And here's your tags. And here's, this one has an angel. Like I said, snowflakes. Uh, I don't remember what other kind of holiday themes. They're just little wooden things to play with. Paint them, stain them. So that's in that little bag. You will also be getting, this is uh, 36 inches of Timmy tissue paper that we all love. I have a ton of it, so I'm sharing it with you. So you will be getting that. You will also be getting a piece of, it's easier to show it on this. It's just glittery. I mean, wouldn't that look pretty on there? And then you could take your beads or not. And then we come to the fun part. So let's see. Uh, this is the other tin. This is a lot of really pretty red beads. And you can fit, you know, these nice fun little super steel pins or um, any type of pin that you have. You just take it like that and you stick it in. And, you know, you make your line. You could draw a line, make a tree first. You could do small to large, large to small. Um... Use the rick rack to make the outline and use these as balls. Now, what a lot of people have done with these beads is if they don't want it all kind of like red and white and green. I have a friend that painted everything silver. I had someone else that painted everything gold. So everything white, but I'm just showing you. So I'm giving you, these are all, by the way, vintage glass beads. They either come from Japan, Germany, or Czechoslovakia. I I think I might have told you, I don't remember, a clean out of an old warehouse that had all vintage glass beads from the 40s and the 50s. You're interested in beads? Email me. Okay, let's move on. Then we have, I have some other just these pretty glass beads. I'm going to take them out. We'll put them in here so you can see them how pretty they are. Look at that. Really, really nice. Okay. What else? I also included some very pretty white glass. Well, they're clear with white inside. I forgot what they're called, but I'm going to put it on here so you can see. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So we have that. 
I know a lot of people use old broken jewelry and they make uh, Christmas trees and things out of them. In this, I'm getting nervous. I have red and green assorted. They're little flowers. Listen, you can make dangles for your uh, junk journals. You can make earrings. You can make jewelry with all this stuff. I'm just making a little holiday December kit for you to build your stash. Then I'm including, these are vintage rhinestones. They're in various shapes. Let's use that again. I'll just take one. They're in various uh, lengths, but here you go. So wouldn't that look pretty like garland or whatever you want to use it for? I just want to show you that is that. These are just uh, four little cones. What else are we forgetting? Oh, yes, we're forgetting that one of the most important fun things is I had old pearls and they are a mishmash of sizes and colors. Like I said, what a friend of mine did, she spray painted hers all white. Another one did all silver. Another one did all gold. You can spray paint these red. They're fake glass pearls. And let me see, this one might still be on the strand, so be careful when you take them out. But you know, again, wrap it around, use it as garland on a tree, take it off, put it on with pins, just use it in your crafts or your mixed media. So, if you're interested in the compliments of the season pack, it is, where is it? It is $15. You get all these fun goodies for your pack. Vintage beads, trims, all the fun things to use to make your cards, your tags, what have you. So if you're interested, please email me at findingsbyjnm at gmail.com and let me know if you'd be interested in receiving a compliments of the season pack. And it's $15. Thanks for watching. I know it was a long video, but I wanted you all to see all the compliments of the season that you'll be getting in your pack. Thanks again. Bye now.